Welcome everyone, in order to activate eSIM in our iPhone 14 Pro, let's check if we set up the phone or not. You do this by clicking on the lock button once, then click it one more time. If you see the regular lock screen, then you set up the phone. If you see this hello screen, only if you see the hello screen, you want to swipe up to open and navigate until you see this menu right here, set up mobile service. If we've already set up the phone, we can get to the same menu. However, what we need to do is we need to do some steps. So the first step is you're going to open up the settings app. You're going to find the home page of settings. You're then going to select mobile data and you're going to see here set up mobile service. Tap on this one and now you're going to be brought to the set up mobile service view. And you can see if you're on the setup screen or already set up your device, this menu is the exact same. So we have two options, transfer from a nearby iPhone or use QR code. If you want to activate eSIM, you almost certainly have a QR code to scan. However, if eSIM is on your old iPhone, I will also show you how to transfer that as well. So let's start off with activating an eSIM QR code. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where it says use QR code and you're going to tap on this one. Now it says scan QR code. So this will be in an email or sent by a carrier. So I'm going to get an eSIM QR code now. Here is a sample QR code I got off the web. Of course, for you, you want to use a real QR code uh, for your eSIM. And so all you do is you place that QR code in the frame of your camera, okay? And you can see it's going to scan. Now I get invalid activation code because again, this uh, eSIM is a sample eSIM. If your eSIM is real, uh, it will, will basically say, do you want to set up the mobile service? And then you just tap on next. And then of course the calls, the text and the mobile data will work. Now let's transfer eSIM from our nearby iPhone. What's really cool is this feature also supports transferring a physical SIM card from your old iPhone into eSIM into your new iPhone. Keep in mind, transferring a physical SIM card into eSIM is not supported on all carriers. So if you are unable to do this and you do want a regular eSIM, you may need to call up the carrier. So we're going to tap on transfer from nearby iPhone. And you can see right here, my iPhone shows transfer phone number. Keep in mind, the prompt will not show up if your old iPhone is running iOS 15 or older. So on the old iPhone, open up the settings app. Then find where it says general, then find where it says about. Just make sure you're running iOS version 16 or newer. If you're running software version 15 or older, tap on software update and then download the latest version of iOS. Also, if the prompt isn't showing up, tap on Bluetooth and just make sure Bluetooth is turned on. Okay, and you see now discoverable as. Once you've verified that, let's try this again. So go out and back in and the transfer option should show up. If it still doesn't show up, you will need to restart your old iPhone, okay? You do this by opening up the settings app. You're gonna find where it says general. You're then gonna find shut down, and then you're gonna slide the power off, and then you need to turn back on the phone, which I'll do now. Once your old iPhone has restarted, let's bring it back to the home screen. If we still don't see the prompt, we'll go back into transfer, and there we go, you should see the transfer phone number prompt. So let's tap on continue here. It will ask for the verification code. You will need to enter this one in. And then you should see a message which says set up mobile service, set up cellular service. You may also see your phone number as well. You just tap on next and then follow the on-screen instructions. I don't want to transfer my physical SIM into eSIM because I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade yet. But if you are going to upgrade, then definitely do the eSIM transfer. In the future, you can also transfer eSIM back into your old iPhone if you would like to as well, following the same instructions. But on the old device, you go to this setup mobile service view and then do the transfer uh, from nearby iPhone option. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.